For your information, I'm a student, and that means I have to study a lot. So I'm trying to find some fun ways to learn using learning, learning games. games. But here's the thing, those games are less like games and more like learning. Duh. So today, I'm making a learning game that is the right opposite. Let's get started. This project actually has two versions, version number one and version number two, inspired by swords and sandals. Firstly we got version number one, which is called Up the Castle. In this game a knight is trying to get to a castle and take back a crown. But the crown is guarded by a giant boss and there are some enemies on the way. You must defeat an enemy by choosing the right reaction and you do that by answering the right question. The boss just copies the attacks of those enemies and you must defeat him the same way except you don't see the reaction attached to each answer. Yeah, it is a mess. Anyway, I started by creating a simple prototype and copying a moving script from my game back to the earth. But I realized I made the script badly because it was just changing position instead of adding forces. So I fixed that and after adding a little bit of linear drag it looked really good. Now it's time to make some graphics and animations for the player. I decided to make them in pixel art style and it came out quite terribly. But hey, it is much better than my first one, okay? Good. To create the enemy I just young the sprites of the player and changed the color to purple. Then I made the platform logic. There are four types of platform. None of them does anything special, they just change the style of the game. The total number of platforms is divided by 4, so all 4 types are spawned by the same rate. Alright, now I added the animations and buttons, wrote a little bit of code and... <sighs> Why does nothing work? Somehow, the animation stopped working, so I had to change it to just changing sprites. But why don't the buttons work? <sighs> so I decided to cancel this project and move on to the second version of the game. Like in Swords and Sandals, you can choose which way you will attack an enemy. But in this game you have to answer a question right to block the attacks of the enemy. I used the chilling and bow animations from the previous project. And for the enemy, I created the hammer attack. And I also made him red to remind you to check there's nothing red under this video. You can also add there a little bit of blue if you want. Anyways, I've created the bars and this nice looking fly in animation for the camera and... Wait, what's this sound? Well, that's not good. So now my laptop is overheating. Because of that, I had to change the thermal grease on my CPU. And since I decided to do it myself, I kinda broke my keyboard on the way. That is one of the reasons why this video isn't about the whole project. The second reason is that I'm running out of time and I don't want to make this game badly only because I had to hurry. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed.